Hey there. So I'm doing this little quick video on how to survive your first few days in Minecraft for my friend Irving who has recently downloaded the game and was telling me at work how he um, was having some trouble and didn't quite get what to do. So to help him stay alive and I told him I said don't give up you're gonna be addicted in days maybe hours so Irving the first thing you do as he he said he's been punching trees but I think he hadn't figured out how to do a workbench so when you first get into Minecraft you um, obviously as you know you punch a bunch of trees so we're gonna punch a few trees like this and you do I would do probably three at least to get started and you're probably gonna spawn somewhere like this where you're like oh my god what do I do and uh, so you'll have all these wood after you punch your tree down depending on where you are what kind of wood you have you're gonna push E and you're gonna take that wood and you're gonna use your left mouse click it pull over here right click it stick it in there you get four pieces of wood and then you're going to put those four pieces of wood right here and BAM you've got your little tool table you know put your little tool table down and make yourself put some more wood in here to get some more let's put a few in here and you're going to collect all those make some sticks from those sticks you want to make your first pickaxe just like this and then you're going to make an axe because you're going to be knock up oh, now it goes like that there's your axe you're going to be knocking a bunch of trees down digging for some um, stone because you need stone tools to really get going wood stuff is the pits and the next thing you want to do because you only get like 10 what is it 10 minutes before night time sets in and you're going to come here with your little oh and if you're really lucky you're going to find something like this which is coal on the surface that's really close to you being at spawn if you don't find any coal don't sweat it you can always burn tree trunks and make charcoal. Ah, stupid block. So then after you've got some trees, got some stone, got your crafting bench, you're going to try to find a place where you can hide out overnight. If you're really lucky, you're going to spawn near some sheep. and You want to kill some sheep. You need three wool and three of these wooden planks that you get when you put a piece of log in here and you're going to make a bed and so what you it's all you do really and make yourself a sword stone sword is the best to start out with and your wooden tools you can burn them for fuel um, after you've made them so this is where I had started out in my world and I just made me a dirt hut over there and <laughs> as soon as I could, I got into bed. I mean, got some sheep and, and made me a bed. Set my set it to daytime whenever nighttime comes. These are fence gate doors. These are the best invention. And I forget who I learned that from. Maybe Lembley. And you make fence gate doors. Zombies cannot break through fence gate doors. What am I doing? What am I doing? See, I've been playing Minecraft for years. I still, still derp around. I sit there going, what am I doing? Okay, so here's how you make a fence gate door. This thing will save your life. When I'm running around, I keep a bunch of those. And then if I want to dig myself in a hole, that way you can still see what's going on. But uh, you got the protection. You know, Like I said, zombies can't break that down. They can break down a regular door. So, need your. One of the things you want to do is uh, look in the wiki, and this is what you can do with your wooden axe. Once you've made a stone axe, you can put a piece of wood there, burn your axe, get you some charcoal, 
which will work just like coal making torches. Torches are your next best friend. Ta da! Another thing you want to do, maybe if you're feeling a little queasy about all the mobs running around, is fence out an area. Mobs can't cover or climb over fences. You fence out an area by making a bunch of sticks. Let's do this. And you just stick them like this. Voila. A fence. Two fences for six sticks. Can't beat it. Great price. And you just plop your fences down in your territory that you want. And um, then torch it up. Lots of torches. You can see like I did here. Mobs can't go over something that's two feet or two blocks tall. They can't go over fences. And what I like to do is for a fast getaway, they also can't jump. They're too stupid to jump. So you want to keep your little area safe. You can do that because they can't jump from that block to that block. Well, what else? Oh, there's lots of there's lots of stuff to do. So I was telling them, I said, don't give up. Keep at it. You'll love it. You'll become a Minecraft junkie in no time like the rest of us. Those are your main first things you gotta know. And the rest of it just comes naturally to you. Um, you'll learn about making food and uh, making armor and before you know it you'll be going to the end portal and uh, killing that ender dragon in no time so that's just a quick what to do your first day like I said beds really important if you can turn it to night I mean to daytime mm. once it turns nighttime then that'll save you from all the mobs that are gonna come and try to eat your eyeballs and uh, mm. then don't forget if all doesn't go well, you just go to options, set it to peaceful, and uh, then you don't have to worry about the mobs. There's no shame in setting your game to peaceful. That's what I say. So I'll put mine back on normal. Go here. Let's see what kind of mob will come out. We'll wait for nighttime. Yeah, the only thing about putting it on mobs is you get killed, you gotta run back and get your stuff because <laughs> it's not going to stay with you. But I think I have a little dungeon over here somewhere. Or I know, we'll go into the forest. Oh yeah, squid. Squid are actually your friend. I remember my first time in Minecraft, I was actually, I think I was in the water, probably drowning, but there were a bunch of squid around and I thought the squid were attacking me and I thought, oh my god. But it turned out I was just a derpy noob. So, let's see. No mobs, really? I turned it to normal. Nobody? Usually in a, in a wooded area, you'll find a spider or something. Skeleton hiding out underneath the... Oh, sheep. Alright, this is a sheep. You want this guy. You just kill him like this, pick up his wool, you get three of those, you can make a bed. And let's see. I'm a wuss. I want to die closer to home because I'm going to have to go find all my stuff once once these uh, the mobs get through with me. Let's run back over this way. It's getting dark. Beautiful sunsets in Minecraft. Beautiful sunrises. Let's see. Go run up here. Yeah, scariest sound you'll ever hear is a baby zombie. But that's for another video. <laughs> Let's go back up this way. Boop, boop, boop. Yay, my home. I see my home. See, isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Alright, let's see. Any mobs? They'll be coming out any minute now. And then I'll, oh, see, there's a zombie right there. Ooh, zombie. Nah. Yep, 
There he is. Wish I had Optifine. I'm on. Uh, I'm playing on the 1.7.4, I believe. So you see how it's nighttime. So now we go in here. You got your bed made up. You go to sleep. Best thing in the world. Wake up. Daytime. And the best part, let's see, well, if he's standing under that tree, he'll still be sitting there, but the mobs burn up. Most beautiful sight in the world, seeing zombies and skeletons burn up in the daylight. Let's go see if we can find that one guy. He may have already gone back in the cave or something. So I think they're living in that cave down there. Come on, guys. I know you're still hiding out here somewhere. Ooh, 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 ooh. No? Wow. Y'all are making me look bad. I told him all about the zombie apocalypse. When you hit a zombie, how millions of you come out of the woodwork. He's going to think I made that all up. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, Irving, I hope this helps you live for the next few days in Minecraft. Before you'll know it, you'll be making redstone contraptions and maybe doing your own playthrough videos. Who knows? See anybody down there? Ooh, look at that. That looks like a nice cave. That looks like a lit up cave. I'll, actually, I'll bet you that's just a pass through. Eh, and there's the famous world chunks. Missing world chunks. Where is my home anyway? Oh, there I am. Alright. I guess that'll do it for the quick tutorial. <laughs> yeah, if you want a real tutorial, go uh, dig up some of uh, Paul Soar's tutorials. I'll put his link in the description here. And uh, let's see, F5, F5. Yeah, so go tear them up, Irving. Do a video and show us what you come up with. I want to see your first dirt hut. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later.